In this video, we're going to look at a few more Web 2.0 or AJAX tricks that we can do with Ruby on Rails to improve our user experience and actually speed up our application a little bit in some sense. So let's first look at a little bit of a demonstration here. We get live data back out of our Ruby on Rails application. It's just a simple application that goes, and if I click here, it'll give me the current time. And you can see it just kind of keeps up to the second up to here as often as I click on it. Now in the previous video, we looked at some effects that we get from the Scriptaculous library. If I wanted to add an effect to this application, I have an option of when I want that effect to fire. And if we go and look at the Rails API for this particular method, the link to remote, if we scroll down here, it gives us the callbacks, which is when the server calls back to the browser and says, here's your information you're looking for. That's how the, the XML HTTP request JavaScript request works. And we can have that effect fire at whatever one of these particular callbacks that we want. So in this case, let's say we put it on loading. And we'll see the effect here. So loading. And the effect that we want is new effect on highlight and we want it on the time div so let's save that and go back out to our demo and reload it yeah, forgot the comma there okay and now we'll see that yellow come in and as we highlight but notice the yellow effect happens first then that second changes. So let's change this order a little bit. Let's do something extreme. Let's go to complete. And let's go back to our demo, reload it. Now you see the effect doesn't fire till right after the time actually changes. And we can fine tune this a little bit more. If that was a bigger process, that might be quite noticeable. Let's put it at the loaded when we get that data loaded back in there. Let's see when that comes in. Now that almost looks like it's simultaneous. Now, granted on the addition of this effect to the time, it's not really noticeable about when this callback actually fires this effect, but on larger things where you have more data coming back and the more stuff that your browser has to do with that information coming back to it, this will make a greater effect of when that effect's going to get fired. So the other thing I want to look at, the other demo here, is going to be the list demo. And this just adds stuff to the list below here. And these aren't sortable like those other lists, but they're just adding up to this list. Now this simply adds into the UL for this particular list. And it's a very simple little thing to do. Let's take a look at that code real quick here. So the index for it, we have a form in this case, form remote tag, and our update is a list. So we're going to update the UL called a list. Now this is the first time we've introduced something other than a div, but anything that has an ID you can change as long as it's going to accept what you're doing with that update. Again, you're familiar with the URL and the action is add item. And position is top. So if we go back to our application, you can see that it's adding stuff on top of the list. If we go and change the order, I think i got to reload this. And now it's going to add it on the bottom. If we look at our API here, we can see that there's a couple of options for the position before, top, bottom, or after. So you can control where that information is going to show up if it's an addition to like a list or even a div. You can add below or above a div. That's just some interesting little Web 2.0 features that you can do quite easily with Ruby on Rails.